and welcome back to the St. Hugh of Lincoln Children's Liturgy. This week we are celebrating the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Do you remember what we heard last week in last week's Gospel? Yes, Jesus healed somebody. He healed Simon's mother-in-law. Well, in today's Gospel reading, we're going to hear how Jesus healed somebody else. And we're going to have a little think about healing and keeping ourselves healthy. So let's get started with our welcome song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let God be in our hearts. Can't wait to see you all again. Can't wait to see you all again. Can't wait to see you all again at Children's Liturgy. Great singing. I hope you were joining in at home too. So what do we do first? We do the sign of the cross. So let's get our hands ready. From my head to my heart, shoulder to shoulder, I love you Jesus, Amen. Then what do we do? Who remembers? Hmm. We need to light our candle to show that Jesus is here when we pray and to remind us that he is the light of the world. So now it's time to have a think if there's something we need to say sorry for this week. Did we make good choices this week? Hopefully we all made lots of good choices. Did we make any bad choices this week? Did we say the wrong words or do something we shouldn't have done? It does happen, it happens to all of us, but this is our time now to reflect on that and to say sorry. Because when we say sorry to God, he forgives us and we can ask for his help for the next coming week to try and make better choices. Are you ready to sing our sorry song? Here we go. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If it's big or if it's small, we know God forgives us all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. It's time for our gospel acclamation. So it's time to stand up and sing along. Today's Gospel is by Mark, so let's do our crosses to remind us that God is in my thoughts, God is in my words, and God is in my heart. A man suffering from a dreaded skin disease came to Jesus, knelt down and begged him to, for help. If you want to, he said, you can make me clean. Jesus was filled with pity and reached out his hand and touched him. I do want to, he answered. Be clean. At once the disease left the man, and he was clean. Then Jesus spoke sternly to him and sent him away at once, after saying to him, Listen, don't tell anyone about this, but go straight to the priest and let him examine you. Then, in order to prove to everyone that you are cured, offer the sacrifice that Moses ordered. But the man went away and began to spread the news everywhere. Indeed, he talked so much that Jesus could not go into a town publicly. Instead, he stayed out in lonely places and people came to him from everywhere. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's have a think about today's Gospel reading. What can you remember? There was a man who had a very bad skin condition or skin disease. It was known as leprosy and it was very contagious. So no one would have gone near this man, but Jesus did. And when the man asked for help, Jesus healed him. What did Jesus ask him to do after he healed him? He said, don't go and tell anybody, just go and see a priest. Why do you think? He said that. Why do you think he didn't want him to tell everybody? Well, do you remember in last week's Gospel reading when Jesus healed Simon's mother-in-law? Everybody turned up at the doorstep. Do you remember? Everybody asked, uh, can you heal this person? Can you heal my mum? Can you heal my dad? Can you heal my foot? Can you help me with this problem? 
and Jesus was quite overwhelmed. He had lots of people to heal and he didn't mind healing them. He was very happy to heal these people. But like he said last week in last week's reading, that's not what he was there for. He wasn't a doctor. He wasn't there to be a doctor. He was there to spread the good news and to preach. So what did Jesus ask the man to do? He asked him to go to the priest. Why? Well, I think he wanted him to go to the priest so he could say thank you to God, so he could pray and say thank you. How do you think the man felt once he was healed? I think he was very, very happy and very excited. And when we are happy and excited, it's quite easy to forget what we were meant to be doing. So the man was so happy and excited, he just wanted to tell everybody, I'm healed, I'm healed. Have you ever had happy or exciting news and you just couldn't wait to tell somebody? It can be very exciting, but we have to remember as well to say thank you to God. A good time to do this is at bedtime when you say your prayers in the evening. Have a think about all the happy things that happened to you that day any good things and it's a nice time to think about those before you go to bed nice to have happy thoughts and a moment to say thank you god thank you for that thank you for that thank you for all the happy things so how can we be more like jesus what could we take from this story this week well we can't heal people like jesus can but we can help prevent spreading infection as we all know at the moment, we can wash our hands lots, we can keep our distance, wear our face masks, and we can also keep ourselves healthy by eating the right foods, so lots of fruit and vegetables and whole grains. We can keep fit with our exercise. Now, although we can't go visiting poorly people at the moment or care for sick people, we can pray for them or we can send them a get well card. Well, let's say a prayer together now so we can join our hands. We try to be like Jesus today in our world, reaching out to those who need our help. We pray for all those who are sick or struggling in some way, that they may find the help and support that they need. We pray for people all over the world, that they may be healthy and happy and have a chance to change their lives for the better. We pray for our parish, our family and our friends, that we may help other people and always generously share what we have. Christ Jesus, you always looked after people who were sick or in need. Help us to be more like you and to care for others. Amen. Thanks for joining me this week and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.